Hi there guys, welcome back to another video. As you can see, there is no van in this picture. We obviously, as you know, we're on lockdown. We're only allowed out for an hour for exercise. So, me and these two going for a little wander in the woods. Get our exercise in. A little bit later on in this video, there will be a bunch of van stuff. I think it might be raining. Um, because I'm going to be doing the central lock-in and putting some speakers in the back door. So I'll show you how I wired up my central lock-in. Thank all of you guys for the interaction I had on the last video, my DRL video. I'll put a card up wherever the cards go. I'll probably put it down in the description below as well. But really pleased about us gone. Quite a lot of people have said how they're going to be doing it and how easy it is. And to be fair, it is. So me and these two hey we're gonna continue our little walk um probably won't film too much more of it it does actually feel like it's raining a little bit so we're gonna get on and get this done get back and have some lunch and then i will show you the central lock-in i've done so cheers guys there we go we're back from our walk and someone's got themselves a nice cup of tea as they've been helpful and we have actually done quite a lot we didn't actually film any of it but we're just about to finish putting the speakers in the back doors and they are completely wired up to the head unit right at the very front but we forgot to film so we're just going to walk you through what we've done and i've also ran wiring through for the central locking as well that's going to have to be another video because we can't get it done now so what we did is we've got some speaker wire and we've ran it through the door and it's come in through here up through here and then we've ran it there we go through this bung that is the same on both sides run it up through the bung that's already got like stuff for reversing camera and stuff and then it goes into the side bung up here which you pull out and we've ran it all the way down and it's come out just here and then i've ran it underneath with my tea i have actually ran mine you can't there you go underneath the whole seats on this side because at some point i am going to be taking all this lot out to run the wire in actually inside the the panels and then the same on this side i have run it just on top of the wheel well and it comes down like i said i am going to be hiding all this wire in a lot better it's just for now until i get all these panels off i need to move the bed to be able to do it and then I've ran this side underneath the step along there, along there, underneath the mat, through here, underneath the sub, which is where the speaker wire is for the secondary speakers. I think I can probably show you better on the driver's side. And my handy little assistant's even opening the door. But the wire's running down all the way down the side here. There is more wire there because I'm doing my central locking. But yet again, to the step underneath, into under the sub, and then the wire ends all. I should have filmed this really, and then the wire ends all underneath there, which is run from the head unit already. Um, as you can see, there are like random bits of wires everywhere because. That wire right there is what I need for my central lock-in. I've already got them um, set up to both passenger and driver's door. So I've fished that one out ready. So I'm keeping that up and out the way for now. So I don't really need it. So that's all working fine and dandy. So the speakers in the back are now going to run. We have tested them as well which is, I still need to actually clad all the side of this, but luckily I didn't, because I need to get to those wires. All we need to do now, all I need to do now is figure out whereabouts I want these speakers to go, which is probably going to be around there. Yeah. yeah, that's it. And obviously I need to cut it out of the backboard. There's obviously this, sorry, that's your face. There's obviously that one as well. I'm thinking I'm probably going to cut it out around here, which is roughly gonna be about there again you can see see what I mean so it's not going there it's just obviously 
speakers are magnicated and that was just a good way to put them and that's as easy as that i done exactly the same for the central locking the wiring yet again is run through the door through all of this and then follows that speaker wire all the way to the front and then from there i'll connect it into those wires i've shown but i'll put that in a completely different video and showing you how i hooked up the front doors and i have actually got the actuator here which will go somewhere around here and then obviously as you send electric to it what's the other end of that as you send electric through it this will open and close which will then tell the door mechanism to open and close but now i've ran the wiring that's going to be very easy to do because you only need two wires um even though there's like five on this one this one was meant for the driver's door but i didn't put it in there these all these other wires i only need the blue and the green all the rest of these wires are like um for like the lights and stuff so when you press it the lights will flash and i haven't got any of that set up so one day i might set it up but for now i just wanted to lock and unlock but both driver and passenger door does do that so we're going to get on with cutting the holes in the door cards and then this little installation is done i do kind of wish that we'd film this a bit better but we just randomly decided to come out and start filming um doing this sorry and it's about three quarters of the way through my daughter did tell me don't forget we need to film and obviously it was a little bit too late by then but it is a very easy installation like i said it's the same as the drls that the last video i put on very easy to do there's nothing difficult about doing it right let's get on with doing this so we need to roughly measure we want the speaker to go about hold that about so that's where the door card sits normally and we're going to want it about there oh no i'm not there not there right so have we got a pen or something no. try stop filming film no, 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 that's fine. Oh. We want it about there, right there. So that there is going to be roughly the centre. And then, where's that speaker? Yeah. Don't knock that tea over, mate. So that's going to roughly go about that sort of hole, obviously the other way around. And it'll fit about there. So there's one side. That's where we need to cut that hole. And then, so the door cards are roughly roughly the same size so if i cut there cut that hole in cut that hole in there and then replicate it there they will be roughly symmetrical so we're going to get on with doing that and yeah i think that's about it so we're going to get on with this and there we go that's now done we have cut the door card there's one there and one on the one on the floor we have uh, done all of them now and we're just trying to make some little connectors that's what I'll do for that for the sorry I'm trying to do something and I'm just trying to make get these little connectors um, these Stick fake connectors so that we can make it obviously work the wires just there and then once the speaker's in that's how it's going to sit It'll be nice and then and you're loud. not really other than the little wires you can see just on the side you're not really going to see any of the uh, wiring quite a stealthy little job and then we've got some extra tunes in the back which would be good for the kids because they always say turn it up so they can't hear it so i helped to make the uh, little circles for there right so we had to rush in because it was food time but as you've seen i have now wired the actual speaker in properly and then just literally make it in the hole about there and jam some screws in. Is that done? All in there nice and tidy. The other side. And then we need to do this side. So there they are. Speakers in the rear door cards. Easy little installation. Kind of happy with that. Needs to give everything a bit of a clean. 
But it's a very easy job. Just run away us from here, through this, around here, down. Ideally, if you've got an empty van, you want to get all these panels off so you can run the wires nicely. But this lot will all be coming out so I can run all the other wires at some point. And then down to the front and then behind the head unit, you'll have like a extra set of wires for the rears. And then that's what you use to wire these up. And then if I close these doors, you can see. Add an extra little bit of sound to the rear. I just want to say thank you very much to everybody. I'm now going to go, just finish tidying up. i got like stuff in the garden I need to put away. So I'm going to go and have myself a nice beer. The speakers do work quite well. They are quite loud. I have got it all running through the rear. The sub is also working. They are quite good. So let's get back to the outro. Any questions, that comment section is always down there. Please use it. Um, any suggestions or whatnot. Um, I will get round to it at some point. If you like the video, please give it a great big thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed, go and hit that subscribe button and take it easy, guys.